Hello. Welcome to our vlog number three. It's actually morning right now, which is, I've, I don't think I've ever recorded anything in the morning. But the, I guess this is bad. You can see the sunlight coming in from my window. Um... Not much has changed. Hmm. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, I intended these vlogs to have some sort of meaningfulness in the sense that they, they documented something. Because um, they, they started at a point in my life that was ripe for change. I think I wrongfully assumed that there would be any change. Because there, there hasn't been any change. Um, I think my hair grew longer. Life's been pretty rough. I mean, <laughs> you don't, you don't exactly start a video diary when things are good. Because, you know, when things are good, it's like, there's no real time to, like, talk to anyone. Or maybe you do have the people to talk to. Um, I feel like the only people that really do video diaries are pretty isolated. I mean, I think I'm one of them. There's actually been a couple of uh, people making video diaries on the internet. I mean, obviously that's that's sort of a main tenant of the platform, but like recently there's been a... Well, I wouldn't know officially, but I think it, it, it is kind of a surge of uh, people making video content like this, where they just talk. I'm not implying I'm some kind of part of a larger movement. Or like, I'm not implying that it's like an exceptional thing that I'm doing. It's, it's very rudimentary. And I don't even edit the videos. I don't even have, um, I don't even record on a webcam software. It's OBS and Discord. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't think any of that was what I wanted to say at all. Actually, I never come into these with a set topic. I just sort of start the, the camera. Because, you know, when you don't uh, talk to a lot of people for long stretches of time, uh, and I mean, like, really talk, like, really genuinely talk, there's a lot that's uh, that builds up sort of in the... I guess like the the background that you're not aware of until you actually start to talk. Uh, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't you can't see anything. Um I was gonna show you the it's not a view, but there's a, at the very least you can see some trees out my window. Mm. Uh, sometimes in the morning I'll play guitar, and uh, there'll be birds out there that'll... I mean, I know they're not singing along with the guitar necessarily, but they'll, they'll sing, and it feels peaceful. I guess. Because it kind of feels like, you know, your instrument is making a resonance with what's outside. Mm. Recently, I've been... I've been really depressed. 
uh, like, incredible, like, extreme, like, probably the most I've been in my life. And it, it's interesting, uh, because I, I'm diagnosed with, um, clinical depression. And it's, it's sort of, when you're, when you're at, like, this level of, like, sadness, it's not even just, like, the sadness that's sort of, uh, worrying. The you sort of um begin to develop a a really bad worldview or a very um just unreliable way of processing the world. Like I'm just so entrenched in a in a negative uh, worldview that. I, I can't even trust, like, regular things that I'm thinking of, because it's, it's, all of it is so marred and sort of mangled in a strange way, and it's, it's, uh, it's hard, because it's, like, it's just hard to trust yourself, and it's hard to see straight forward because you're so just completely entrenched in this 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 uh this thing that's very inescapable it feels very inescapable like because you can escape is the the strange thing uh you i'm constantly depressed but i i can ignore it I can, um, I can do things to uh, be away with it. Like, I can get, uh, drunk. I can play video games. I can go out with, like, friends. And that sort of led me to a lot of situations in my life wherein I was somewhere that I shouldn't have been, uh, considering where my brain was at the time. Because... It's just this constant process of trying to run away from it. You know what I mean? Like, my life is dictated by how much distance I can put between myself and what I consider to be what I'm truly feeling, which is different from the escapism. It's like you're just constantly ignoring sort of factual truth that is so insurmountable and so uh, omnipresent that it's like the only way to go is like a way and it's just it's hard it's difficult because mm, wellness looks the same as avoidance or there are two things that you know, if someone is out doing things, uh, you'll assume that, oh, okay, like, they're actually doing things, so maybe things are getting better. But, like, the issue is, like, it's, uh, it's very intertwined, or both things look alike, because they're both actions. You know, they're both, uh, things happening, like... If, if I, like, sit around and play a video game for, like, 30 hours, it's like, oh, okay, like, during those 30 hours, I'm very normal. I'm very personable. I mean, you can you can talk to me normally, and um, I seem fine. But then I, I go, I go home. And by I go home, I mean, like, I return back to the truth of the matter, and I'm still fucking, like, really depressed. And so it's like this strange sort of, you're never winning, you're always just returning to how things were. And it, it's, uh, it feels like you can remove every aspect of your life. And these aspects you could have worked like years on, and I, I've experienced this, like, like things that you really, really deeply cared about, or at the very least put a lot of labor into. 
And then in the very next breath, you can just let go of it uh, very arbitrarily. Um, because of the fact that every all of it just feels like untruthful or it just feels like a lie that you're telling yourself to ignore from the fact of the matter, which is always, it defeats everything else. Like your uh, basic state of mind. Oh, my camera turned off. <laughs> you're like, your basic state of mind within the moment, uh, which is to feel sort of depressed. You know, and when, when, when that's your basic state of mind, you'd never move forward. Like, I... Because I've done things in my life. <laughs> Sorry, that's a really stupid statement. Like, I've achieved things in my life that are objectively like, oh, he, good job. Good job, Jed. Like, you did something there. Like, I'm in college, and it's a good college. It was a hard college to get into because I had to transfer into it. And I worked tirelessly for that. Even throughout high school, I was all I did was study. Right, but at the end of all that thinking, I'm still just... Uh, in my mind, I was just like, oh, well, I was just ignoring. Like, I was just doing a thing that is ultimately meaningless in the face of what I consider to be the truth is, which is I'm incredibly despondent and just like, I don't have an actual core um, motivator. There's no, there's no like person underneath. Does that make sense? Um, and that's sort of hard to number one, describe to other people and number two, live as um it's just hard like because no matter what i do in my life i gain no personal satisfaction from it i i mean it's nice but i i don't i don't look at it and go oh wow good job me i just look at it and go oh like i did it and usually i it's really loud. Usually, I I'm also within the bad habit of uh, taking things and then downplaying them. Um, it's especially self achievements. I, I I've never given myself the opportunity, to sort of be proud in a clean way. But it's always come out as insecurity and um, pride. A more like perverse version of it. But yeah, it's just hard. Um, it's just hard to do anything when at your when you're not doing anything, you know for a fact that all of it is sort of arbitrary to you, or all of it is beneath uh, your depression it's all like sort of like my performed life it it never penetrates um what i'm feeling on the baseline and a lot of people it's hard to describe that to people um because both parts are all i have like the 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 thing I'm ignoring, which is, you know, the depression, which I consider to be the truth. And then the performed life, which is literally like everything. Like, I mean, it's, it's as real as anything can be. It's my day to day. It's, you know, who I consider uh, people I love. And it's, it's really strange. Because I think the worst part about it is it makes you very... Mm, it makes it very easy to let go of things that you you know you probably shouldn't have let go of. Or not let go, but like it makes it makes a very... You just, you, you see yourself as a fleeting thing. 
There's no like permanence because because everything's a distraction, right? So it just leads to really bad decision making. Um, because at the end of it, you have to live in that life. And the issue is you you didn't live out that life as if it were gonna go on for another forty years. You lived it out as if, oh, what's like, you know, what's a distraction right now? Um, so it's very hard. And when you're not, like, pumping yourself up with distracting things, you're just, you, there's nothing. You're completely non-functional, and that's, that's me. <laughs> I mean, like, if I'm not, like, pursuing this thing that I ultimately don't really uh, care about, I'm nothing. There's no fallback. I, I, I'll just stay in bed all day, which I have been doing. And you're so tired and so everything is just difficult. Uh, and it's just, it's like so I just like you just want a, f a fix. You just want like a switch that you can just press. And the other thing about it is people don't realize like you have to like live with it. Like and people have a hard time like conceptualizing that. Like, thinking about, like, what it is to actually live with it. Live with it as in every waking moment is that. You know what I mean? It's like when people get upset at, um... Uh... It's like when, when people reframe uh, the conversation about, like, trans athletes entering sports um and they reframe it as oh this person became trans in their division because they wanted to cheat <laughs> which is like to cheat the sport which is a ridiculous notion because uh going through the uh, transitioning that's say that's a whole thing that's a whole process and it, it takes a lot of money it takes a lot of time and you're you're making it so that now you're like in this world you're unaccepted you're you're fighting for your place so it's sort of like would you like a a person so moved to uh undergo that thing um to go through all that hardship they're not going to do that just because they wanted to win win women's badminton or whatever it's it's a thing they live with like every day and that's sort of hard for like uh, a a person with regular emotional sort of um, regulation to understand, like how it's it's like a consistent like just parasite. And I'm not saying like y you get it. It's it's I'm just using it as an example, like the that's how much people can't um understand what it's like to live in a state that in itself like eats away at you you know so they like mi minimize it they minimize it into like more something they can just like point a finger at does that make sense um i'm just very sad and i, I don't really I'm not good at talking to other people about it. I'll see ya when I see ya.